Hello, once again, Revit enthusiasts. This is Kurt Egley, Building Solutions Engineer with Synergist Engineering Design Solutions. We're doing another Revit uh, exercise for you on building pads. It's a unique element that cuts through the topo surface. In part one, a different video, I did one where the walls and the topo surface were in the same Revit project. This is kind of a step beyond that where there's two different Revit projects that are linked to each other and the building walls are in one and the topo surface is in the other. I need to get them to interact and here's how we do it. For starters right now I'm in the building model and if I select on it you'll see the whole thing is one big linked file. It's over in the site model. Um, you're seeing it kind of tilted like this because that is in True North. That view is in True North and this view is in Project North. I can put walls here in my building model RVT but that topo surface you're seeing there since it's in the link they cannot interact with each other so I have to change my process a little bit when they're in two different files. So let's make this kind of simple for ourselves just a rectangular building. I'll make it go with a base offset of like negative 12 feet something like that so it goes down to a basement do a rectangular building, something like that. And then if you want to, we can look at it over in 3D here and you'll see that it did not actually cut the topo surface. So here's the point is they don't even know to react with each other at this point. If I tried to pick on building pad, it'd be grayed out right now. The button is not accessible to me. So I hit save and I'm going to have to go over to the other RVT or put on the other person's hat if it's somebody else where they're now seeing my building pad as a link but they can use it as a tracing around for the building pad that they can create with the file that has the topo surface in it so we go to our massing and site tab there's where the topo surface was created and there's building pad as a choice and it puts me in a mode I can draw around the outside boundary or use one of the other tools if I so desire just going to go around the outside boundary of the foundation wall. Close the boundary up. Make a height offset of like negative 11 feet and negative 12 feet to make the building pad go down that far. And then say finish with the check mark. You can see that I already cut my contours. And if I look at it in 3D, you can see that it dips down in now the 12 feet that I asked it to even though the building walls are in another file and a linked file. So I'll hit save on this and close it and go back over to the building file so you can see how this turned out back in the other Revit file. Let's open up the building model once again. The topo surface now with the new cut in it um, is showing up as in a link here in my file and as I'm looking down in I can see through uh, the building down into 12 foot below the topo surface there. And I'll cut a section line through it just to um, take a look at it from another angle yet before we finish. So right click on it, go to view, maybe change the scale, it's at 1 inch equal 20 feet, I'll go to quarter inch scale so you can see the poche and know indeed that it did not fill in. So um, hopefully uh, you'll join me again on another uh, Revit tip soon. Thanks.